Wow. Where's my pond gone? That pond was looking a little bit low, wasn't it? And we are going to get some rain eventually, but I'm not wishing it on because this time last year is roughly when I moved into this house. And if I remember rightly, it was cold. It was wet and it was dark and there was no electricity, no water. So the position I'm in now is far greater than anything I had this time last year. So uh, I should just be very happy about that. Uh, anyway, my name's Andrew, welcome back to my channel. It is Monday 18th of October and uh, it's 31 degrees already, it's lovely. So uh, anyway, the shower, I didn't really get very far with that and there's a reason for that, I guess. Didn't wanna go there, it wasn't feeling right. I put too much emphasis on it and built it up too much and uh, I've decided to revert back to what works best for me, which is simple. In the meantime, I'm going to empty out the house and put it all into that area, I said, because having that house cleared out is going to clear my mind and give me a good idea, impression of what I'm going to do around that house. And once that's done, I can also do a proper video and a tour around the house. That's my mechanic just asking about the car, but there's a guy behind me who's delivering flowers. Uh, he's a friend of Christina or knows Christina and uh, he's got to follow us. So I'm just waiting for them to have that chat and then we're going to go back to the house. Right, I'm just dubbing over this little bit because of the wind. I have ordered that microphone, by the way. So we're at the front of the house, and as you saw, we had this delivery. These shrubs are called oleander. They grow upwards of two meters. They're really easy to maintain and look after. They're a lovely flower pretty much all year round. They come in various colors. I've opted for three red ones. As you see here, I've got 17 white ones. They're gonna go all the way along the front. I paid four euros each for these. Ordinarily, you'd pay a little bit more, maybe 650. So now I'm gonna lay them all out, see how they look, and then I'm gonna plant them. Just coming into the shade for a second because I've decided just to hold back on that for a few hours just because it's midday, it's very hot out here. And I've got to dig 20 holes in that very firm soil. So I think I'll wait until it's cooler at least uh, before I start doing that. And in the meantime, I'm gonna come back to this hole because I just realized something. This has been the problem with my shower, why I haven't been able to get it done. And I think this has actually worked out quite well because I've changed my mind on the shower itself. So I'm gonna go down in that hole drill some holes down in the concrete so water has got somewhere to run into. Then I'm gonna backfill it all. That shower is more or less gonna go in this area where I said it was gonna go. But because I said I was gonna do building work on here, I didn't want anything attached to that wall. So it was really good that I changed it for that solar outdoor shower. That means now if I keep it there, it's in a really good place. It's away from the house. I can still have a cold tap going in or cold water going in and hot water coming out to that boiler. But when I come to do the work, I can disconnect it, knowing that this shower, as it's a solar shower of sorts, will still give me some warm water. But in the meantime, before I start the work, I'll have the warm water from the boiler. So that's worked out really well. I'm gonna backfill that now and see how we get on. And I'll come back to the flowers a bit later on, but one thing at a time. Just uh, curious to know about these bricks. I wanted to know if there was a second compartment. At this point, it does look like there is. So I'm gonna go into the village at some point and just see if they know. I have my thoughts on it, but they'll definitely have a better idea than I do. So anyway, now I know it's there. I can come back to it in the future when I have a little mini digger here. I'm hiring that and a skip. Digging that hole out would be a lot easier. It would make still a very good plunge pool. I've got that fixed in my mind at the moment, but I'm gonna carry on putting this back in. left it exposed a little bit there because obviously the pipe I need to test that then I'll link it to the shower here bring the water around in through there then I can cover all that properly get half of those stones and put them along there just to finish it off and the other half I'm going to put on the driveway uh, ramp going down to the road and then I'm going to hardcore the rest of that driveway uh, probably next week but 
now we're back to here. All this can be cleaned up, which is lovely. And I'm really excited now, of course, because it's back to the shower. Now I know what I'm doing. This is really exciting and I can't wait to start that. I am going to just put the plants into the ground along the front, first of all, because they're in the pots and they're going to get blown over and lose the soil. And I want them in the ground as quick as possible. So I'm going to put those in. Then I'm going to come back to the shower, which is fantastic news. I really am excited about that. There goes the safari, they're still going, which is really good. So I really need to get these plants into the ground today as quick as possible. I'm preserving my energy a little bit because it is still very warm. Um, but I did manage to clear out a little path through there so I can line all these up. And then hopefully I can get the bulk of those holes done and bulk of those plants into the ground. And I'm gonna try and do it without being distracted by this mess here. This is another day. Push that to one side, one thing at a time. They're leftovers from when I built that meter box. So ignore that, plants are more important. So looking at it down here from the road, you can hardly see my oleanders because of the weeds and the tall grass on that bank. But that's OK, because in a couple of weeks time, I'm going to be coming back and putting a new gate there. And then I can bring the strimmer out here and tidy this area up. Uh, they may be small at the moment, but they are going to grow up. And that lovely white flower is going to set off really well against the cork trees behind them. Uh, now, I managed to get these done in half the time that I thought it was going to take as well. So it's lovely to be able to tick that off my list and have some afternoon left. I can't believe I just went up the ladder and cut that branch down. It was overhanging the house. I've already cut it up and I didn't press record. What a moron. Now they are a protected species, the cork trees here, but when they're really close to the house and that was overhanging this side of the house, they've got to come down. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good fun but I'd be lying if I said my heart rate wasn't pounding while I was doing it. may not have looked it in the video but that branch was overhanging in this direction so I knew it would be all right it is the one and only tree though that I'm ever going to cut down I'll stick to the smaller stuff in future I've already spoken to someone he's going to come back after we've had the first dose of rain so probably next month and he's going to trim all of the trees in this area which is going to be fantastic because then they can breathe again there's a lot of dead branches in here a lot of them have already fallen down and i really don't want going into the winter when the wind picks up and the rain to have any more falling down on me the dogs the tractor the car and of course the house as well so he's going to trim them all down and that's going to look really nice can't wait to see that and now of course having cut that down i probably get another one to two hours of sunlight in the winter time so that's going to be really good so now i'm going to cut these down put them into the pile over there i can't use them on the wood burner unfortunately because they've got cork Back on them. to this you can see i've dug a trench all the way down there i was trying to find where the pipe ended i was trying up there couldn't find it that's because the pipe ended this way a little bit so i've just dug it all out and i think the easiest thing for me to do is went out this morning got some tubing some five centimeter diameter tubing it's 11 meters of that works out about 95 cents a meter i'm going to feed it through that pipe so i can run it further down into the garden okay first things first let's get that pipe through there
I think I should probably start by unboxing this shower because I haven't even looked at it yet and then I can position it and, uh, and then we'll go from there. So you jump out the bus, you fancy a shower, and now I've got this out of the box. It makes complete sense to have it back where I originally wanted it. And I've just lent it on the wall at the moment, and that's pretty much where I want it there as well. Uh, coming out from the wall, I think that's about right. It does come with its own bolts, but I can't use those because it's a, a soiled floor area there. So I'm gonna fill it with cement, cut that threaded bar up, cut it into four, so that it goes into the four corners there, and that will give me a secure base. So now what I need to do is work out the area I'm going to be standing in, cut it all away, fill it with cement so that it runs down into the tube and off down into the garden. I thought I'd better just put those decking boards in position just to see what it will look like and how many I'm going to need. And although that area is going to drop, I have to fill it up a little bit more and make sure that whatever I have under there is going to be supporting the top bit of decking but i think that actually is going to look pretty good once you've got some pot plants in there as well that's going to look really nice so i'm going to take them all out now and get digging Okay, just having a little pause because I need to make sure I'm doing this right. Uh, it isn't that complicated, but I'm winging it. So I do need to make sure that I do this right the first time. Uh, that is the highest point and water has to come down in this direction. That's the only thing I need to take into consideration. So far, I've dug out an area here. I'm probably gonna have to go down a little bit lower. I've got a little area there where I'm gonna fill with cement, put that metal back in. It'll raise it up a little bit and that'll hold the deck in. I've got a second piece here, which is gonna go along here, which is actually on top of that brickwork there. Cause I then know it won't drop. Everything here is probably gonna sink a little bit as I backfilled it. But the gap between there and there is too great for the decking boards, it'll bounce. So I have to have this third piece in the middle, which will run from the shower to there and that will fix it all in place. But that cannot touch the shower tray itself. Once I've got that, I'm going to put a pipe attached to there to around about where my finger is, and that will run into that shower tray and all go down to this pipe, which will be in that trench cut and fixed in place. And then it should all start looking like a shower at that point. And I'm just going to plan it all out now. Then I'll mix it all up tomorrow and uh, we'll carry on. Hello, good morning. Sunday morning and uh, it is a lovely start to today. It's quite warm, but this morning was really, really cool. Last night I had the wood burner on for about an hour. That kept it nice, but this morning I really felt it. So we are going into autumn, but it is going up and down at the moment. Some are warm, some are cool, some are damp, some are moist, and the wind of course changes everything. But right now that's reminding me that I need to get a load of wood because I've only got enough for about three days. While I was walking the dogs down there, uh, I noticed where the bus was originally. You can see the sun's all the way across here. There's no tree line blocking it. And as soon as it comes over the hill, bam, it's on the bus. And that explains why I moved it so many times. I wasn't just being fickle. It was all based on the, the weather, the seasons, etc. Down there was a perfect spot to be well away from the house to go to a retreat, but it was too far away. 
down there was a really good spot because one the views and two the sun on it in the morning but practically the bus is much better here which is why it's staying there now uh, the sacrifice is of course in the morning it's not going to get that sun as much so it's going to take a bit longer to warm up but that's what that wood burn is for now i've been here for uh, almost a year now and that means that i've had the full seasons to see what's going on around this house uh, the shaded areas where the sun rises where it falls what trees are blocking the sun and the wind and the rain and so on and you can see here with that shaded area, as we go into the winter and the sun's lower down, this whole area is never going to get any sunlight on it, even in midday. And that's something that I need to bear in mind when I'm laying things out around here. But anyway, I've got my cement mixer ready. I need to grease it up because it hasn't been used for a while. And it's very squeaky. And then we'll carry on with that after I've had my coffee. Oh, that sounds good. I'm sure you've all heard of cement mixers before and they can sound pretty horrible. But that now is sounding really smooth. I've got this gun here with a nozzle on the end and there's some grease in there and you pump it into this little nozzle here and that feeds it around there. And actually these teeth were looking bone dry. So I've greased those as well. So it's sounding really good and it works. So I've got the stones here. I've got sand around there. I've got cement, I've got water. I need to mix it up dig this hole a little bit deeper then I can pour the cement in so I've got a good thickness and once that's done and I've got the shape I'm then going to go over it again with a finer smooth cement so the water can run freely off it down into that tube. do a little bit the first board i think is around about where i want it from the wall i need to cut it around that pipe eventually but i was just looking at this plate and i realized that that plate will in fact slot into that groove there so it will slot into this board as well and that will make it look quite neat so any board that's coming this way can slot that side and equally on that side so i think i'm going to use that as my kind of template but unfortunately the hole that i've got here doesn't go near enough the wall so i'm going to, have to dig this out a little bit see if i can chip away at that soil get that in position. I've got a little bit of playtime before it all goes off and, uh, and hopefully it will look really tidy. starting to take shape and that is so exciting but I have to be very patient at this point because I've got to let the cement go off a little bit I can't take out that decking board until that cement has gone off because it's kind of holding everything in place and also where I've got the metal attached there and there and all around actually it's all just going off so I don't want to kick it all uh, I had to be very careful while I was doing this and quite patient because I needed to make sure that one all the water is going to go in that direction and two that all the decking is going to be flat on there so as I said I can't take that decking off there because it's holding it all and I need to really get behind there because I want to run cement off of the wall and go into that direction so there's no pockets of water behind there when I come to start the wall I can chisel that out no problem but at this point I'd rather not have any bits of water going behind there when it rains so uh, yeah I just gotta be a little bit patient at the moment before I can pour the cement in there so I'm gonna clean out the cement mixer and the wheelbarrow have a cup of tea and be a little bit patient for a few minutes
looks like it's going to be a really calm evening tonight. The sun is just starting to go down, but we do have a shower and a shower tray in place, which is really exciting. So far, I think that that is all going in the right direction, which is a good start. And I could either leave it like that because it's going to do its job or I can run over it with a sponge. But I think what I want to do is there is a little bit of daylight left is just do one small smooth mix of cement, go over the whole lot again just to get a nicer finish. Now, you're not going to see it. It's not going to make much difference. But for me personally, I'd rather just take that little extra effort as there is a bit of sunlight left and do as good a job as I can. Uh, and then tomorrow, I won't video that, we'll come back and we'll deal with this area here so I can get the decking boards across and they won't bounce. Unfortunately, I can't fix them down because I need to run the uh, water around here and into the house. And I'm going to do that in the next video. At that point, we'll have a fully working shower with everything in place. But at least at the end of this video, it will look like a finished shower, even if it isn't quite working for a couple of days. <laughs> Good morning. Water at the ready because we're going to test this shower base and see whether it's all going in the right direction. I've got it as smooth as I can now. I'm very happy with that. I can't put too much down because at the other end of the pipe is sticking up and I need to put it down into the soil, but I can put a little bit down. straight down the pipe. Brilliant. Last night I had a thought and I'm reverting back to my original idea to make this whole area feel and look a lot nicer. It's already starting to take shape. You can see I've just placed the boards down there and ended them just over the shower tray area because what I'm going to do now save me a little bit of effort and time in this area because I know it's going to sink. I'll end it there, put two stakes in the ground and two posts and then I'm going to put the bamboo across there. That's going to act as a bit of a windshield but also I think it's going to finish that off and look really nice. I can cut these boards down, I can use half of them and that way I get to save a few of them, put them back with the pile I've already got and use them somewhere else further down the line and in this area here once I put the water in I'm going to backfill it more I'm going to put those stones in there they're going to go down there as well and that's going to look really nice with a pot plant on there finish it all off great so thank you to everyone who made those comments totally agree with you something didn't feel right did it it just was a case of getting there in the end eventually it always works out as I've said so many times if you're prepared to put the effort in and you're prepared to change it to get to this so i'm very happy with that and that's why i'm going to end this video now it's a monday as well and i need to get back to sundays but before i disappear i want to show you two things first one is i found the rails the curtain rails for the bus as i was clearing out the inside i didn't think i can get them back up there because i thought they were part of the molding uh, but last night i had a good think about it and i found out a way of attaching it to the metal framework so one i really like those and I have the curtains as well. I just need to change the color of them. That's what the washing machine's for. Bit of color dye in there and that'll be sorted and it's free. The next thing is I move the sofa. It's now facing in this direction and I think that is a lot better because it's the view that counts. That view isn't very good. I mentioned I was gonna be filling this area out and emptying the house out and about a third of the way through, I'm doing a bit every day and that will be filled out in the next few days or so, but because this screen here that I put up, this meshing, does seem to be doing the trick so far. It hasn't had a good test, but I think it's going to work. I'm going to put it across there anyway, just to block a little bit of the view. But definitely here, project a screen down there, watching movies would be great. So for the rest of the afternoon now, I'm going to go down to the beach because when I turn my laptop on, I realise that photograph there is where I'm going to go. That's where I go every Christmas. But I'm going to go now because... The mechanic is having my car tomorrow. He's probably going to have it for a couple of days to finally fix the problem, which we think is the start motor. And that'll give me plenty of time to carry on with this shower. So that's what I'm going to do. Carry on with that tomorrow. Now, the Facebook, Instagram and all the rest of them, I am sorting it out halfway through. We'll have it sorted by the next video. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back to Sundays again from now on, so I better hurry up. So until then, have a great week. Look out for the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.